Hello everyone, step for three here, welcome to From the Earth Space Diet! Woohoo! I've made the executive concision, wow, decision that I am doing black granite. Black granite it is. This or it entire <laughs> east facing wall is black granite now. Well, welcome back to some more Seven Days to Die, ladies and gentlemen. We are still doing some uh, work on the house preparations. Brianna is doing the painting. I'm concreting some of the interior wall systems here. I'm at Trader Joel's. Oh. Selling a bunch of stuff. Does I'm everybody... digging a tunnel. Did you know, Tyler, that you can upgrade the secret stash perk? That was really satisfying, and I did not. Yeah. Trader Joel's has a secret stash perk you can upgrade and your mother has them and it allows you to look into their secret stash to buy their essentially their secret stash of items. Mm -hmm. huh. that's, that's how I got that other auger. My battery okay. bank schematic. Yep. Oh, I also have in one of those chests, Tyler, I can't remember which one, but there's a book in there for you, teaches you how to make uh, beer. Okay. As far I as Old Man Witherspoon at Trader Joel, he has another chainsaw available for purchase. Um, it's kind of expensive. It's like 9000 Nope, oh, I'll make it. I have chainsaw okay. parts and stuff. Oh, okay. Um, he doesn't really have a whole lot, so I'm going to run over to the other guy that's not so grouchy and doesn't yell at me and curse at me. Okay. Wait. Hang on. What? What? What's the matter? Oh, okay, that's what it is. Okay, never mind. I'm just... I... I... Don't worry about it. <laughs> I figured okay. it out. We still don't know what you're talking about, but all right. Well, okay, there's no point in explaining it if I figured it out. All right. Aight. All right. I. Well, all righty then. There's a paint option which I can paint like so much faster, but it sprays paint everywhere. Like really? it gets it all inside the house. But yeah, it makes my life easier. But oh my god, I waste so much paint. Yeah, I'm just finishing up concreting the, ins the inside courtyard, babe. Can someone okay. deliver me repair kits? Uh, no. Only Literally right outside. I'm nowhere near you. Can you just if, if, come if, back from Trader Joel's really quick? Give me some... I'm, out, I'm inside the courtyard, Tyler, if you want to run in. I'm, like, right by you. I can hear you outside the wall. And it's broken. Hey, Brianna. Yeah. Um, can you turn on the generator upstairs? Ow! You just ripped my clothes off. I heard like a yeah. Tear. I heard like a tear. Upstairs. Where upstairs? Behind the alchemy table, there's a generator. That turns on the light systems and all right. Let's see what this guy has now. Perfect. Thank you. I am out of concrete again. I am burning through concrete. He has two dart traps. I need some rebar. Two dart traps. Eh. Mm -hmm. Meh. Meh, okay. Um, a switch. He's got eight of those. You guys, I'm literally making unlimited paint right now. How are you making yeah. unlimited paint? Because every time, I don't even have the materials for it, but as I click mix, it's making 50 at a time every 11 seconds. Wait, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm literally making unlimited paint. So, in other words, you broke the game. Yeah. Okay. How are you making unlimited paint? I don't understand. I guess not even taking <laughs> You're hurting any of the materials. It's not taking your materials either? Uh-uh. Wait, what? 
Wait, so is it just saying that you have the materials to make it, but you're just essentially making it over and over again with the same materials? Yeah. Wait, are you sure you don't have, the, like, a bunch of them in your bag or something? Nope, I only have six cotton. <laughs> he restocks tomorrow. He doesn't have anything new, by the way, babe. Okay. I don't know, Brianna. Like, you've got me on that one. Like, I've never ran into something like that where it just lets you make things. I mean, I would guess I would take advantage of it and make as much paint as you can. Like, I don't know what's happening. I couldn't tell you. I don't know. I've never had that bug before. If that's, like, I'm assuming that's a bug. I don't know. But I love it. I like that. I love it. It's that gives you plenty of paint to paint the whole house. Ooh. Come back, Mr. Deer. No, don't run away. Come back. Give me that back. Dang it. Why can I not pick that back up again? What the heck? There we go. My hammer's almost broken. There you are. I know a lot of the viewers that are watching actually enjoy watching us build and do, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, we want to watch just the Blood Moons, and we try to, like, change it up a little bit, so that way we're not... Give you guys a little bit of everything. So that way we're not just doing Blood Moon after Blood Moon, and some people are actually upset. They were like, how did you guys get to Blood Moon, you know, or Day 78 already, and it's just because we're playing during the week. And we're just knocking through blood moons while we're building and upgrading the house and that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. That's really all it is. We're just trying to stay on top of things for everybody. And that's a weird graphic bug I'm getting. This is all concrete, but it looks like grass. I don't know what's up with the, the weird graphical bugs I'm getting. But... Alright, I need to come home because it's getting dark and I don't like being out here at dark by myself. And I need to do these ramps as well and concrete. I think for the most part, guys, the inner part is just about done, except for a couple of roofs of my service bays. So those are all done. There should be a bunch of um, concrete in the in the mixer. Oh, I've already been. It's almost all gone. Oh. I've been okay. using that to finish the in interior parts. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to have to use the augers and get some more stone and whatnot. I think we've got plenty of stone still, don't we? Um, we should. We should have, I have, we should still have plenty 18, of stone. 18,000 stone sitting here. Yeah. Oh, okay. So here, let me uh, take that. Cement. I can make... Uh, 15, yeah, I, I'm going to make 1,500 in there. And then this one, I can make 2,700 cement there. And then I'm going to drop 6,000 stone in there. I'm going to move this to there. Came up here for something. Set that on the ground. Put another 6,000 stone in there. Pick that up. Oh, someone's shocking themselves. <laughs> it was totally not me. Oh, okay. All right. So I've got the furnaces. We need to make more furnaces, Tyler. I think. Uh, I I think we do too, because anytime I've ever seen people play this game, they've always had like fifteen furnaces. I think one more furnace, because we can make another crucible and stuff. I think one more furnace would be quite. I think good. we should have five more. Oh, five more. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to start placing some of these blade traps and start working on our outer defenses. Okay, we need to place the what I was talking about earlier whenever I was like, wait, hold on. Like I didn't, something wasn't lining up outside. And all it was, was uh, we need to place rebar underneath the walls over here where the dirt was. Uh huh. And so that way though, it lines up with the rest of the uh, traps. Okay. If any of these zombies ruin my renovations, cry. <laughs> it looks beautiful so far, Brianna. You're doing a good job. Thanks. And then I gotta wire in these. 
Oh, I guess there's already one there, so we're good there. This side's already got them. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna start wiring these uh, front traps in here. So essentially what we're gonna do, guys, in this little service bay, we have a motor already, and it's got fuel. So we'll go ahead and turn on the generator, turn on the power switch, hook a wire, Come on through here, on over to here, and then this should power on, just like that. And we'll wire this to that, wire this to that. We're gonna need another motor. Yep, we're not. We're pulling too many watts. We need another motor in this uh, generator down here. All right, I've got a level three. Too many gigawatts here. Okay, bring that down. Bring to you. I am on the uh, south uh, tunnel system. Okay. Yeah, we're pulling too many gigawatts. That was a really late response. Sorry. Somebody's not closing doors <laughs> behind them. <laughs> there you go, I honey. Like just, sorry. <laughs> All right. What the heck is it's a cold. gigawatt? Nobody's closing doors. Nobody's closing doors, and you keep walking away. I'm trying to give you something. Oh. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. See, this door was left open. Because I'm working in here. Close your doors. What's wrong with you? Alright, let's put that in there. That bumps us up to 170 watts. Ooh, we're at 165 of 171 watts. Wow. <laughs> I think we might just have enough wattage to power all those now. Yep, so Tyler, the complete south side is operational with traps. Oh, snap. And I have... <laughs> the, my uh, freaking paint roller is so messy because it gets paint everywhere. Your paint roller? It is, because it paints like 10 blocks at once but it also paints like everywhere else so i can't put the traps up yet tyler why i think it's um because this dirt is in the way dirt the dirt by the base like at the foot of the base over here oh yeah because they haven't dug that yet Oh, I found that book, Tyler. What book? For the... Uh, whatchamacallits. The beer. Oh. Let's see, where are you at? There you are. There you go. Thank you. Now I can become a brewmaster. So Tyler, I can't put a trap here either. Do we want to trap right where this little edge is, or no? No. Okay. Alright, the exterior of the house is almost... That's why I took those rebars off that were there. Gotcha. So are all the rebars placed exactly where they need to be? Uh, for the most, but not placed all the way around. Here, you want to do that for me? I'm... Or you you want me to dig dirt? <clears throat> you want me to place rebar? Here. What else? Do you want from me? There's a rebar. I will get to it when I get to it. Okay. Well, it's on the the fourth block. I need wooden roofing one. I need that schematic. Wooden roofing one? Yeah. I think that's my last schematic I need. So Brianna, what we've done is I've marked on the map where bookstores and stuff are as well for you. Perfect. Oh, that was cool. It's really satisfying. That's what I've been doing over here. Knocking out all these traps. Not really knocking them out, just because I want this area to be flat. And yeah. if, the, if the traps were farther back, then I wouldn't knock them down, but they're just kind of there, so I'm knocking them down. But... So if I place that trap there, Tyler, that should be correct around, right? I just yeah. 
like, and then every two from there. Yeah, so we're in all this dirt that's underneath it. We're gonna replace all of that with rebar. Gotcha. Because like, even if the trap somehow doesn't get them right there, they'll be able to hit the foundation. We don't want that. Yeah. I. Oh, there we go. See, I can't place that. It's on the fourth one. So one, two, three, four. And then every two. Okay, I've got... That was it for my traps, by the way. That's as far as I got. So, with that said, let me come back here. I don't know if I can wire up the east side yet. I don't know if I've got motors and stuff in these uh, generators. Look and see. No motors. What do you think of this for the inside? Oh, we're good there. It's horrible. Whatever it is, it's terrible. Um, I like it. Or I can have. What are my other options? <laughs> see? This Told is... you it's terrible. This is the baseboard. Nothing. So Tyler, the only thing that's holding me back now like is we that. need more traps and motors. Is... More traps and motors? Yeah, I'm out of motors to fire up the east side. Oh, for essentially the east and the north and the west side of traps, but the complete south side is done. Okay. And then this is the drywall cream. Hey, one side is better than none. Is there any other color than cream? Not yet. No? I mean, well, actually, there's... No, there's just the drywall ceiling, which is white. I'm just oh, gonna gotcha. start wiring things up and kind of preemptively get things ready for when we get motors. Yeah. But I also have... Ugh. Let's see here. So you guys can kind of see as the viewers how we start really working and how quickly we can get things done. Just in the past couple of episodes, we've gotten the whole interior walls concreted. All these traps built and placed and wired, and these ones placed and operational. And essentially the whole point of these outer traps are for the, uh, the spider zombies that start to try and crawl up our walls. They're going to step into this and get shredded as they try to climb up our walls now. And just any other zombies that decide that they don't want to go through the funnel and they want to go for the wall instead, mm -hmm. they have to deal with the traps. Yep. But yeah, so there you guys go. Um, we're going to wrap this episode up here, but you guys are kind of getting a general idea. Probably by the next time we record this next week, there's going to be a lot more uh, dramatic changes to the base. But hope you guys are enjoying the progress. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.